It is Raiders week. So I, obviously D hops kind of stole the headlines of it being the Raiders week, but it nonetheless, it still is Raiders week. And it seemed over the last few years, the kind of rivalry has been kind of renewed. I mean, with one, one win every other four years for the Raiders, they mm-hmm. think there is a rivalry still with amongst them, but obviously hey, Tony Pierce, lifelong Raiders fan, you know, he kind of showed last year on that Christmas day game, which kind of awoke this team. I haven't lost since then. Um, kind of, you know, bring it back a little bit of the old school Raider chiefs vibes. Um, and it's, Kind of storyline. People haven't forgotten what happened all off season with the Raiders talking, Raiders fans talking. Um, I'm gonna kind of show you, kind of give you a little timeline of what's what's kind of transpired since our last time we saw the Raiders. And then we went into we got the Jordan rules, and we, we I'm calling it now from now on as long as I'm here the Patrick Mahomes rules. So you remember when Jordan was going through it with the Pistons, all those guys in the '80s before he came, Michael Jordan, Air Jordan, the Pistons used to whoop his. Anytime he came to the hole. Elbows, yeah. filling them, love taps. We touch them. We're in the head, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. I'm touching you. So I show those guys Jordan getting his ass whooped. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, kind of on the same note, um, you know, like after practice, there was a video going viral with the, the Kermit doll or whatever. Do you? Do you like leaning into that kind of stuff, talking trash, or do you kind of tell the guys to, to stay away from that? No, we addressed it as a team yesterday, and we nipped it in the butt. It's over with. Is it a smart idea to fire up Patrick Mahomes? Yeah, I'd probably, listen, I'd probably say not. Um, we don't spend a lot of time here with, with puppets, you know, so it's we, we try to do our work and try to get try to get better, you know. That's, a, that's the important thing. No puppets here at Chiefs camp. Seen the video of the Raiders with the Muppet uh, yeah. of you. Is that something that you kind of compartmentalize when you use it when you get ready to play them? Yeah, I mean, it's still early in the year. Kind of stuff like that happens. Um, it'll get handled when it gets handled. It'll get handled when it gets handled. That's the uh, the quote from Patrick Mahomes this offseason about the, the, the puppet show the Raiders fans and Raiders players partook in at training camp. Guys, you know, we had the bus thing a couple years ago. We had the stomping on the ground thing a few years ago. A lot of stuff been going on. You guys obviously experienced stuff when you guys were playing, but do you expect to see this kind of how serious Mahomes was? And, J.D., you saw him in the press conference today. He was very serious, only talking about Raiders week. This is definitely on his mind as far as fuel and bulletin board material going into this this game at Allegiant Stadium on Sunday. Go ahead, Shop. I'll let you go ahead and start it off, baby. Go ahead. Well, I, listen, at the end of the day, man, like, I don't let people take shots at family. You know what I mean? Like, you can take a shot at family, and I'm going to handle it later. And at some point, I'm going to meet you in the alley, and we're going we gonna to have to just work it out. So, at the end of the day, I thank Patrick. Uh, he took the high road. Like, listen, I don't talk about family business outside of the walls, inside our locker room. We've addressed it. We know we know, we know, we know we're going to see them at what week. We're going to see them twice during the season. So ain't no use to give them no no uh, extra bulletin board material, nothing. We're gonna handle our business on game day. But what you what you won't see is there be anybody checking the scoreboard. So don't don't think there's gonna be a, a letting off the gas. Don't think there's gonna be a, 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 a stop bringing the dogs when they can't stop the blitz. Uh, worrying about like you know what we're up thirty. Let's not get too like no. It's it. This is gonna be sixty minutes of H E L L. Uh, man, Katie bar the doors. If you can put up a hundred, put up a hundred though. If you can, whatever you, whatever you can do, we're going to get every point. We're going to, we're going to turn that turn up and get every bit of juice out of it. Um, yeah, we're going to run that dog. We're going to, we're going to run the whole race, all 60 minutes of, of opportunity. Ain't no, ain't, there is no kneeling the ball down because the game's over. That, that's, that's the way I see it. Uh, no matter how the game ends up, uh, no, 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 no kneeling, no, 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 let calling the dogs off. Uh, I'm talking about chum is in the water, smell blood, the piranhas, the sharks. It's time to go eat. Yes, um, yes, that's the that's that's the mindset I got. Like, uh, they think it's training camp, they think it's a joke, they think the rivalry is a joke, and all it's, it's guys like that young man, he don't know anything about the Raiders or the Chiefs. He's a member of the Raiders, don't even know about the history, he knows nothing about the team. But yeah, he got the word. Like he he's he's starting up a, a opening a, a, a can of worms, you know, writing a check that his butt can't cash. Somebody else gonna have to uh, accept this this punch in the mouth because he wanted to open his mouth up. So like I, I ain't never had no respect for guys like that. At the end of the day, um, if if mano a mano, he wanted to wait until game day 
and go yapping at, 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 at Pat while he's on the field. Mm-hmm. Like you got to be on the field first. You can't be a fifty third guy who don't who be <laughs> inactive on game day, and you the one who was you know rallying up the opponent. You know what I mean? Like like come on man. Like you got to be you got to be a player. You got to you got to you got to get into some Pro Bowls. You got to get in some some highlights. You got to be like top ten and set. You got to do something with your career before you start shooting at the king. Because you know what they say when you take shots at the king, you bet not miss. You take miss. a shot, at, you know. Hey, I learned that from the wire. If you take a shot at Mr. Omar, yep. you take yep. a shot at the king. You best not miss. I tell you that, man. It's almost, it's, it, you know, hearing you say it, man. It's almost like they set the young man up for failure. That's what they hey, did. They, they they sent him as a messenger. They like you. You gonna be the, the sacrificial lamb on this one, man. And, and and one thing I do know, what they say that the old saying goes: lions don't concern themselves with the opinion of sheep. You don't. They don't. They don't worry about none of that, man. Listen, the Raiders are where they at, and there's a reason because of it. They've been in disarray for these past few weeks. They're trying to figure each other out. They upset. I see my boy uh, Crosby actually pushed my boy Mike uh, uh, Caldwell. You know, I played with Mike up in Philly when he was up there. Mike, a good dude. I see Mike like, yo, man, what are you doing? Right? There's a lot of pissed off people in there. So they're going to try to turn this around and put it out on, on, on the Chiefs. But I'm going to tell you something with the Chiefs what they realized what happened last year, okay? They got embarrassed, okay? That, that, they don't like that. That taste in their mouth that they, they had to, to take, you know, and put it right here and, and, and actually just, you had to savor it for a little while. These guys are coming back for a reason. That's the reason why they ain't talking about D-Hop. I don't know what's going on with it. Andy was saying those things. But Patrick came in there with a thousand-yard stare. They had one thing in mind. This is Raider Week, and we're going to take care of business. That's all we worried about. And the thing is, if that young fella don't know, if you wake up a, a sleeping giant like Patrick, uh, Crosby going to turn on video like, uh, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you what I did. And I start bumping him. Mm-hmm. Pat said, I'm here all day. And I'm here all day. Now, how about that? What you going to do now? And I'm here all day. Now, I'll put I'm, I'm tell you what he, uh, hey, J.D., I'm going to tell you what he really said is you done woke up the wrong mf that's what he really said. I know you, man. I know your faith won't let you say that. I, I know. That's yeah, what he man. said. You don't woke. You don't woke up the wrong mf You are wrong, wrong mf Right. That's what you have done. Okay. And you're gonna pay for it. All of y'all gonna pay for it. Just because you did that, everybody gonna pay. I'm gonna make everybody pay over there. Okay. If we're in the same jersey than you. So when it comes to the end of the day, y'all turn to that joker and say, "What was you doing?" Can you are you have you lost your mind? Are you ever you are you ever living mind? Yeah, because guess what? When them boys go out to go play, man, they are they are coming in, like you said, to get blood. They smell the blood in the water. They are getting up focused and they know this is gonna be a barn burner. It's gonna be a, a big bully ball. It's gonna be a match, a boxing match in the ring. And they waiting for this. This is the week they've been waiting for. Okay. So all the, the giggles, everybody been out there, the hee haws and all those little things they've been sitting there saying, right? Being cute and whatnot. And now trying to act tough. The Chiefs are going to sit there and they're going to they gonna punch these jokers in submission. That's what they're trying to do. And I think that was part of one of the reasons. Let's go get D-Hop right now because we are coming after you. That's what we're going to do. How about that? That's what we're going to We're going to make sure and make a statement on everybody. But we're going to hold these jokers up first. Like, huh? You see this? That's what y'all going to get. That's what y'all gonna get. You see that? You see this? We started off with them. Y'all the first one right here, these Raiders, and then throw them away. I can't wait to see this thing happen, man. It's good. Look, it's gonna be a game. We sitting over here, we letting everybody know we are not playing around with this three P. We are not playing around. And so I'm here for all of the shop. I'm here for every single second of this thing. Okay. And so, like I said, everybody's walking around right now, man. They got they got the grit on their teeth and all those different things. This is it's gonna be it's gonna be a wild time. It's gonna be a wild time. Them boys is ready, and they go when they come out there. They are gonna make sure they are gonna pay for all of it, all the disrespect, all the doubt, everything. Walk me go 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 yes. That's a first down. It's a first down. It's a first down. This football season, I'll be putting down normal sodas like Coca Cola for Olipop. Olipop offers a healthier alternative with its low sugar content and natural ingredients. Olipop is more than just a drink. 
It's a wellness companion that supports your digestive health. Packed with prebiotics, this fizzy elixir helps promote good bacteria in your gut, leading to improved digestion and overall well-being. So go ahead, click the link in the description and use promo code SODALOVE and get your can of Olipop so you can enjoy the game guilt-free. Go Chiefs. Use the promo code SODALOVE for 15% off now. Obviously, what Sean was saying is pretty much be relentless in this game. The Chiefs are going to go for the go for the jugular kind of early. Do, do yeah. you do you see this game being like obviously extra juice in this game? It's the rivalry already, but there's also personal shots that were taken at at Patrick Mahomes by an unknown player. Um, do, do you think this could be his like snap out of a game, like the game where he like his get right game where he explodes? Because everyone, every Chief fan thinks it's going to be Mahomes' come out party of the year to go at the Raiders for you know saying what they said about him this offseason. I, I don't think Pat really worries about things like that. I, I think, like I said before, like that staring his face is he's just worried about dismantling these guys. He's being even killed the entire way. He can't get too high and too low on any of it. And so he's he would just want to compete. He wants to make sure uh, that you know, all that talking, they're going to make him pay for it. And so I wouldn't say it's his coming out game. I, I just think that Pat, he's going to put these things together. D Hop helps out with that. Kareem Hunt helps out with it also. Uh, but he, he's not worried about how many touchdowns he throws and how many interceptions. He's not worried about any of it. All he's worried about is wins, and that's what matters in that column. And that's that three-peat going to lead to that. So this will be the first game that we're going to see. Maybe hopefully Deepa Hop comes out here and go play, okay? But I would for, – for me, if you want to show attitude, you want to show that everybody that is not playing, we, we, not, we, we don't care about who it is that you bring to us, this is going to be the game. It's going to be such a light electric atmosphere out there. I, I just it's going to be electric, and I cannot wait to see what it's going to be about, man. And, and those guys that take it all in, they take it all in. That's what they want to be able to hear. They want to hear all the boos, all the screams, all that. They want to take it all in, okay. And like Shot was sitting there saying that, man. Look, we we used to go out there in Oakland. We used to go play those guys. We knew we'd get the dub. We didn't even care. We're going to get batters thrown at us. We, they're going to turn on the cold showers. Nobody's going to have a hot shower. Nobody's having a warm shower after the game, okay? And they're going to flood the, 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 you know, the locker room with, you know, at, at the time was some of the uh, the sewage. There was some of it that you it was kind of close to it, man. That was some of the things that they would do, just kind of nasty. But, hey, you guys ain't worried about none of it. They're going to go out there, kick butt, let's get on the plane, come back to Kansas City, and then we'll do what it from that point, man. But, yeah, they're focused. They're focused for this week. And everybody understands what it's about. So, Realistically, because everyone's wondering, they're, they're saying they want him to play this weekend. DeAndre Hopkins, it was the report. They want him to play this weekend. What do you think is realistic as far as snap count for him this, this Sunday? I mean, it, it depends on how much he's able to ingest of the, the offense, you know, the terminology. Uh, like I said, some things are going to be carryover for him, so it shouldn't be that difficult as far as, like, you know, uh, uh, past concepts, what do you what you try to do on particular routes? Uh, but I do believe he's going to be probably somewhere up in, you know, if, if he's feeling okay. Shoot, 40%? Easy. Easy. You know? So, Damn. I mean, I mean, really, what are you thinking about? I mean, how much did he play out there in t- uh, Tennessee? You know, what, what, what was his this last game? What uh, was he? Week seven, uh, 44 snaps, 60 percent. The week, uh, the week prior, 41 snaps, 71 percent. Uh, the previous week, uh, 21 oh, yeah. snaps, 32 percent. So he's been around since week one, it's pretty much been 45 to 70. So yeah, it's about 40, oh, about half a snap. 60. Yeah. So he's gonna, yeah, he's easy gonna be over 40 percent for us. Like I said, we don't run anything too difficult, it's just the terminology. And so once he'll get that, I mean, he's a bright guy. Uh, it shouldn't be any type of an issue as far as like getting the ball to him. And at a certain point, man, if they had to make some things up, Pat is like, hey, man, make it up. Just get open. Okay, I could do that. And the famous phrase, F it, D hop down there somewhere. <laughs> that is the guy that I was said about. <laughs> so, Pat, yeah. F it, D hop's down there somewhere, baby. We, we have that right. guy that we can do that with now. Yeah. Chiefs again said, uh, he said, "We got. Don't forget, Raiders beat us on Christmas. We got to get paid. That's what we're talking about right here, Chiefs. Again, that's exactly what we're talking about. This is what we when we go in, and we're we're kicking tail, taking names. This is exactly what we're talking about right here. Okay, and the Chiefs have not forgotten that. They have not. They have not. 
Okay. And we, we played horribly that game. We played horribly. And we want to make sure, man, like, look, that's not going to be the last, you know, member we have playing these teams. Okay. Uh, we, we own, we own one. We own one. So yeah. you tell them, put their chin strap up like that, Mark, put your chin up. Cause we ready to go take it off. We're going to take it off. That's what's going to happen. So. Yeah. And we, and we credit them for, you know, waking us up to uh, give us a wake up call for, to, to make that run of the Super Bowl. I know how, and that's what Andy uh, said. It was that the Raiders win, the uh, Raiders loss that really, uh, you know, made us pick it up and take it all the way to uh, winning the Super Bowl in their homestead, which is what we're going to be playing on Sunday. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.